Hey guys, so welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, if you're returning, thank you for being a loyal follower. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. In this video, we're going to do three different campers. I'm gonna to try to condense it all down. We're back here at Walnut Ridge. They've given me free reign of the place, which is awesome, they always do that. What I wanna show is not high end, but higher end camper model, a mid-range camper model, and a lower. So we're gonna take a look today at this light 291 RLS. So this is a fiberglass unit, which I'll put a link down below for my metal versus fiberglass. I know that's always a heated debate. Uh, once you get the facts and really learn about the difference, you're gonna see that you don't have to worry about this delamination and all that more. It's more uh, what fits into your budget because you are gonna pay more for the fiberglass units and there's pros and cons to both. So let's walk through this unit. It's my first time going through it as well. Uh, and then like I said, I'll show you a mid unit and then I'll show you a starter unit. This one is wired for so uh, solar, not social, solar, which is nice. You have your pass-through storage at the front of the unit. One of the cool things that I've noticed about this unit is you have two separate awnings. You have an awning here over this main section, and since you have a slide on the front, you have a second awning there. So it gives you some, uh, some extra space. If you have a deck out in front of your unit like we do, basically you're gonna get full coverage with those two awnings. We'll walk around the unit. You have a slide on the front as we've already talked about. So I come around to the back of the unit. You do have a ladder on this unit, which is nice. Again, it's a, it's a great feature to have, but it's not a must. You can always put a ladder up there, but what that does is allows you to get up there and quickly do your maintenance. You see these are seamless windows, which is really, really cool. Very dark. Come around to this side of the unit. You have your docking station here. You have your 50 amp hookup here. You'll see not a lot of features on this side. You're gonna have your oven vent, you're gonna have your refrigerator vent, and up towards the front of the unit is going to be your hot water heater. Let's go check out the inside. I can tell you now, one of my favorite things is actually the flooring in this unit. It's it's very classy, it's, it's very modern feeling to me, uh, it's clean. So I absolutely love the flooring. I'm gonna do this one in reverse from what I normally do because the bedroom is actually located at the front of the unit. So let's come check out the bedroom. So here in the bedroom, kind of standard, you have the his and hers closet, you have some extra storage above, you do have the compartments on both sides for your electronics, your books, your iPads, whatever it is you wanna keep there. And I'll let Troy swing around with the camera. We actually have the pass-through bathroom. So I don't know if you want to go around that way, Troy, and I'll come around this way. Hey! So, toilet. Nice area for doing all your business. Some storage below the sink. Vanity cabinet. Nice big shower. And then you have some additional storage here for your linens. Now we come out into the main living space. You have your freestanding dinette here, which is what we have in our unit. I love it. It just makes it better for playing cards, and in my opinion. Off to this side, we have a little, maybe a breakfast nook. Put your Keurig or whatever you want here. Plenty of storage uh, above and below. Go ahead and show the price on this unit. So when we talk about like the step ups, stainless steel refrigerator, you have this nice island with the stainless steel sink. You have little features like this that, uh, what is, what's that called, Troy? I'm not sure what that, actually the well, name of that is. Whatever this is called, we should have just made up a name for it. Uh, you do have a standard three burner stove. You have a standard uh, microwave. Plenty of storage here. You do have a nice size pantry in this unit, which is really nice. Retractable for... spray nozzle. Let's back up. Retractable spray nozzle. No, let's just keep rolling. It just came to Troy. Thank you, Troy. Uh, entertainment system right here. Fireplace. Love, love, love the fireplaces. I'll tell you two reasons. One, you can turn these on with no heat and you just got that ambiance, that effect. Two, if you want to start camping early in the season, or you want to stay camping late in the season, these are so nice to warm up the unit, keep you nice and toasty while you're watching TV and relaxing. And in this unit, you've got plenty of seating to do so. 
you've got the two-seater sofa here that would fold out into a bed. Then you have the theater style seating over here. It's actually a really nice unit. This unit feels very modern, very chic, I think is the word I would look for. So let's go over. We're going to review. I'm going to go pick out a Puma. I don't know which one yet. We're going to pick out a Puma. We'll pick a metal sided Puma that's a mid range. And then we're going to go find, I don't even know what one yet. We're going to go find a smaller starter camper. Hey guys. Okay. So now we've come to unit number two in this three part series of, um, a camper to fit all budgets. We covered a higher end fiberglass unit. Now we're gonna go over to a mid-level, mid-sized metal unit. This is the Puma 25 RKSS. So that's rear kitchen, single slide, 25 feet. I have a Puma, so this should feel real familiar to me. I have not walked through this unit before, so let's go take a look. We're gonna start out, you have your uh, pass-through storage at the front of the unit. This one does have two doors to the unit. This one actually leads to the bedroom, so that's a good fire safety measure. You have an outdoor shower, which is fantastic for washing your animals, washing sand off your feet when you're camping at the beach, because we all know camping at the beach is the only place to camp. Here, we have a smaller yet really convenient outdoor kitchen. So you're gonna get your single burner stove, you're gonna get your sink, and you're gonna have a small refrigerator to store beer, drinks, whatever you want out here. Nice, because you don't have to go in and out of the camper. Coming around to the back of the unit, here's that second door. Knowing that this is a rear kitchen, that means this door is gonna go into the kitchen. We'll check that out in a minute. When we come to the back of the unit, these are prepped for solar. So all you have to do is buy your solar panels, plug them in, you're good. You'll notice this unit does not have a ladder and it doesn't have things like the, the grill stand. When you're looking at mid-range models to save money and budget, you're gonna lose some of those features. It's, it's, uh, those features are more of a convenience thing that they add on. Again, not a huge deal. We don't have a ladder on our Puma. You just put a ladder up there, you climb up, you check your roof. Satellite dish hookup, cable TV hookup. A lot of the campgrounds are now having cable TV hookup, which is great because you don't always get a lot of local channels, so that's a really nice feature. Water heater here. You have your fresh water tank. You have your city water connection here. And then on this side of the unit, not a lot to see. You've got your single slide. And up towards the front, you're going to have your gray and black water tank dump. So let's go check out the inside of this unit. You got your refrigerator right as you walk in, which, like I said, it's nice having that outdoor kitchen, but also having your refrigerator right here to keep down on foot traffic. And I think you've seen a central theme for me is Sarah really likes to keep our camper clean. People don't always take their shoes off. Traipsing in and out of the camper all day long is a pain. I like this because they've actually integrated the look and feel of the unit on the front of the uh, refrigerator. As we said, rear kitchen, some nice deck space here, workspace. You do not have the stainless steel sink. You still do have deep well sinks. You do not have like a pull down faucet. faucet. So like I was saying, you lose some of the creature features that make things better for you, but um, not bad. Three burner stove, uh, standard microwave, Lots of storage space. Beautiful. Here's your entertainment system. What I like a lot of times with the outdoor kitchen, they put them either below the bunk so you lose some space or they put them below the kitchen so you lose some space. Here they did it above the entertainment system. So that outdoor kitchen is actually sitting here, but they've created some extra storage space down here for your CDs, DVDs, video games, whatever it is you need to carry with you. Lots of space here to put stuff. You've got your TV, your sound bar with Bluetooth, and you have some additional storage options here. If we do some fancy flipping around, we've got a couch that I'm positive folds out, so this would be a uh, jackknife or a trifold couch. Um, you have your dinette set here. You can probably get this, the freestanding one. Um, I'm not sure. So here we're going to the bathroom. I'm gonna let Troy go in there because it's kind of small. Plenty of storage, got your toilet obviously, nice big shower, vanity, Troy in the camera. 
Then we come back to the bedroom. And as I was saying earlier, that second door is gonna be for the bedroom. You have the his and hers closet. You have the up storage. You have your little trays here for each side for your iPad, your books, uh, your CPAP machine, whatever you need to do there. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's the Puma. We'll now venture over to a entry level camper Okay guys, so I've showed you a higher end fiberglass unit. I've showed you a mid-range metal unit. Now I'm gonna show you a basic smaller metal unit. So this is perfect for, I don't know if I wanna get into camping, but I don't wanna pop up, or this is a great unit for uh, maybe a couple or a single person. What I will say is great about these, before I even go any further, you can get these into some crazy tight spaces. So you can drive these through cities that you may have a hard time with these bigger units. You can take these up into really remote areas if you're into hiking or biking or kayaking or whatever. So there's a lot of advantages to these, but what I wanted to show is just the, the uh, range that you can do here from spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to what we're looking at here with this Hideout 178LHS at $9,995. So, we'll walk around this unit, fairly bare bones. Like I said, this is a starter. Propane at the front, you have a manual tongue jack, which isn't that hard when you're looking at a small unit like this. You still have an awning. You still have your outdoor speakers, which is absolutely great. You're still gonna have some storage up at the front of the unit that's actually pass-through storage, so you get a lot of storage there. You're gonna find things like your awning is actually a manual retracting awning instead of push a button. Not that big a deal. Outlets on the front. You got your fresh water connection here for your water heater. Come around to the back of the unit, you'll notice these are also manual jacks. Spare tire, no ladder. When we look at the other side of the unit, see what we got here. We've got our refrigerator vents, our hot water heater vents, our city water connection. Here we're gonna have our retractable power cord. And this is just access to that same pass through from the other side. Let's walk around and check out the inside, Troy. Okay, so I'm inside the unit. We have plenty of room for Troy to come up in here, which he'll be in here in a minute. When you see, you're looking at all one solid room minus the bathroom. You've got your bed immediately coming in. You've got windows on both sides for light. They're tinted really dark, so it's not like people can see you laying in here sleeping. The his and her closet on each side. You do have a full shelf across the top to store things. Over here, you have a smaller two burner stove. You still have plenty of counter space. You have your microwave. You'll see this is a, I call these, these are like traditional home uh, air conditioning units instead of the ones that are mounted on the top. One thing I see positive about this, they're easy to go buy new ones. You can go get them at any Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, whatever. They don't leak that much. You don't have to worry about the seals on top of the unit that are gonna cause leaks. This just mounts right here into the side. Some storage above. You do have a much smaller refrigerator to deal with. But again, if you're going camping just for the weekend, or I know a lot of people, even with the bigger refrigerators we have, I know Troy's one of them, he st still carries a large cooler with him to throw all your pop and stuff in. Storage above the dinette. And I will let you, I'm gonna let Troy slide around and do some fancy camera work in the bathroom. So you do have a nice size vanity top there, some storage below. Behind you is a really nice sized uh, shower. You have the tub where you can wash your pets or your kids, whatever you want. Uh, I think it might be a little tough to get a full size adult sitting down there to take a bath. You may want to try it, I don't know. So there you have it. I've showed you a high, a mid, and a low. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If this is your first time watching, welcome. Make sure and hit that subscribe button below. I try to post videos every single week. I try to vary what I'm doing. Um, if you're a returning viewer, thank you for your continued support. Really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if there's a specific unit that you would like me to tour in the future, please leave it down below and I promise you I'll get to it. And as always, thanks.
Thank you.